We're at the Deco Tech Garage, getting ready to install a timing chain kit on a Ford V6 4 liter engine. This is a very difficult job and requires a few special tools, as well as the removal of either the engine or the transmission. Today, we will be using Deco Timing Chain Kit KTC1359, as well as a number of tools, which can be purchased individually or as a set from your local or online tool supplier. The first tool is a valve spring compressor. It's used to compress the valve springs to facilitate removing the cam followers. This is not needed if the engine is at top dead center at the beginning of the job and the engine is not rotated during the job. Next is a crankshaft pulley timing tool. It holds the crank pulley still at top dead center. You will also need a camshaft sprocket holding tool, a torque wrench offset adapter, a camshaft holding tool, and a timing chain tensioner tool. Our technician is replacing the chain as a preventative measure since it was wearing out and causing noise. But with this being an interference motor, significant damage would have resulted had it jumped timing. The engine has already been stripped down and is ready for repair, but note it will be necessary to remove the intake manifold, valve covers, and oil pan before starting the timing chain replacement. Place the engine at top dead center using the top dead center tool. Now remove the timing cover and place the balancer back on the engine. You'll need to remove cylinder number one spark plug to see if the piston is at the top of the stroke. Use the top dead center tool again to verify and position the keyway at 12 o'clock. In addition, the bank one front and rear cam slots should be parallel to the valve cover surface and the flat spot on the back of the camshaft should be parallel with the top of the cam cap. With the tool and balancer removed, install the camshaft locking tool on the right bank. Our tech is going to spin the engine around to show work needed on the back side in order to remove the upper chain. Remove the right bank tensioner. Now remove the right bank camshaft bolt. Keeping in mind this is a left hand thread bolt. Remove the plug from the rear of the engine using a hammer and screwdriver. Then remove the Torx bolt holding the sprocket on. Now remove the small plug next to the larger plug. This is called the chain guide pivot bolt. After that, Take off the upper chain guide bolt. Wiggle the chain and guides and remove them from the engine. Then wiggle the cassette assembly out. Assemble the new cassette, placing the correct counterbore side of the sprockets towards the engine. There are no timing marks to align on these sprockets and chain. Insert the assembly into the engine. Loosely install the lower and upper bolts so the sprockets can spin. Check the condition of the O-ring on the chain guide pivot bolt and replace if needed. Then install the bolt into the guide and screw until the guide is flat against the engine. Tighten the bolt to 9 foot-pounds. Make sure the guide will pivot on the bolt. Now install the upper guide bolt, making sure it fits properly in the slot. Torque to 9 foot-pounds. Install the dummy tensioner tool, then place the rear camshaft sprocket locking tool and tighten. Torque the camshaft sprocket bolt to 63 foot-pounds. Remember, this is a left-hand thread bolt. These next steps require an extra set of hands, so have someone hold the front jack shaft bolt still while torquing the rear sprocket bolt. Tighten to 15 foot-pounds plus 90 degrees. Note, this is a torque to yield bolt that must be replaced once it's removed. Now, remove the tensioner tool. Place the new gasket on the hydraulic tensioner to avoid risking an oil leak in the future. Then, tighten to 32 foot-pounds. You can remove the camshaft holding tool from the front of the engine. 
It is very important at this time not to let the camshaft rotate. It must remain still until the job is finished. Replace the rear block seal with a new one. It is now time to move to the front of the engine. Start by removing the left bank tensioner. Install the camshaft locking tool on the left bank cam. Remove the sprocket bolt from the left bank at this time. Always keep in mind that the crank keyway will be at the 12 o'clock position and must remain in this position so the engine is at top dead center. Place the harmonic balancer bolt back in the crankshaft and use it to hold the engine still while removing the jack shaft bolt. Now remove the crank bolt from the engine before pulling off the primary tensioner. Then remove the primary chain and sprockets. Take off the cassette attaching bolts, followed by the assembly in the primary chain guide. Next, our technician will work on the balance shaft tensioner, chain, and guides. Remove the tensioner first, followed by the guide, and then the balance shaft crank gear and drive chain. Verify the engine is still at top dead center with keyway at 12 o'clock. To reassemble the balance shaft, start by placing the crank sprocket and chain loosely on the crankshaft. Line up the balance shaft gear with the timing marks on the block and then install the chain. Double check the crank remains at top dead center. Then install the upper guide bolts and torque the bolts to 89 inch pounds. Now install the balance shaft tensioner and tighten its bolt to 21 foot-pounds. Next, remove the tensioner retaining pin and then verify your balance shaft timing marks are lined up correctly. Assemble the front timing cassette, ensuring the gear counter bores are in correct position. Insert the cassette into the engine, then loosely place the guide pivot bolt and upper bolt. Again, don't forget to check the condition of the O-ring first. Torque the lower bolt to 14 foot-pounds and the upper one to nine foot-pounds. Double check that the guide assembly is pivoting freely. Install the primary drive chain and sprockets, keeping the top gear bolt slightly loose. Then install the tensioner tool into the tensioner bore. Place the primary guide and tighten the bolts to 14 foot-pounds. Then install the primary chain tensioner and torque the bolts to 89 inch pounds. Install the cam sprocket holding tool and tighten it down. Lightly tap the balancer into place and reinstall the top dead center holding tool. Double check the balance shaft timing marks to be sure they're lined up. Once confirmed, tighten the left side cam bolt to 63 foot pounds. Then the front primary chain jack shaft bolt to 33 foot pounds plus 90 degrees. This again is a torque to yield bolt that should not be reused. Finally, it's time to remove the primary chain tensioner holding pin. Verify the keyway is at 12 o'clock and check that the cam tool is in place on the left bank. Remove the cam locking tool and camshaft sprocket tool and install on the right bank to verify that the cam has not moved during assembly. Now, all special tools can be removed from the engine and set aside. This includes removing the tensioner tool from the cylinder head. It should be replaced with the tensioner and the bolt tightened to 32 foot-pounds. Remove the plug located right next to the timing tensioner. There's a plastic oil restriction rod that needs to come out so you can verify the hole is clean. Once you apply sealant to the pipe plug and put it back in place, this job is virtually done. Deco does recommend lubricating all timing components with the correct engine oil. Our team also suggests pre-lubricating the engine following OE service recommendations. This will charge the tensioners with oil before starting the engine.